Ah yes, international dubs of your favourite show. If you want your series to reach a worldwide phenomenon status, then sending your series out to a different region and country is definitely the way to go. But what if there's a show that was always considered a failure in terms of success? Which in that case, did they get any international dubs or were stuck in the country of origin? Tugs was the former of this category. Clearly, Robert Cardona really wanted to push the series to a huge market, but thanks to the unfortunate issue that was Tugs' audience appeal back in the day, Tugs never saw any success outside of its limited success in the UK and Australia. However, that doesn't mean there are multiple dubs of Tugs worth looking at. Well, actually, only two true dubs of the original series, and another that holds a, uh, significance to the show's history to say the least. So, yeah, with that all being said, let's look back on the international dubs that were made for Tugs. First of all, as always, I must cite my sources for this video. The majority of information comes from the Tugs wiki, and a handful from Special Tree, Sajun Station Master, and MK's History of Tugs document. Please check out History of Tugs if you're willing to learn more about the series' history. In 1992, Robert D. Cardona would form CC Entertainment, and that same year, he would make deals to bring Tugs to Japan. Tugs would air on TV in Japan from 7 to 7.30 a.m. in the morning. They were also released on home media in the country, in the form of either rental VHS tapes or ones you would buy individually. Notably, the rental tapes would be placed in front of the windows of shops, which unfortunately led to most of them being bleached by sunlight. If you can find one of these unsun bleach rental tapes, consider yourself lucky. Personally, there's really not much to say about the voice acting itself aside from being pretty charming. Some voices do clearly sound odd, like Sunshine being voiced by a female, Yuko Mita, which was probably an attempt to make the character sound young. But in my opinion, it makes Sunshine sound too young. Sunshine clearly didn't sound that young in the original English dub, and that was why he was such a charming character. The clear young character still sounded grown up, and Sean Prendergast as Sunshine will always be the best voice for him. Well said, Ten Cents. He's a pain in the funnel. <laughs> hey, Boomer, what's so funny? Hey, cheer up, Ten Cents. Now I know you didn't have anything to do with the missing barges. Zip and Zog are trying to make something of it, that's all. But I still think Yoko Mito's voice still sounds good, and still sort of fits. Otherwise, I think many of the voices from the Japanese dub do fit the characters just fine. Albeit, I do think it sounds blander when compared to the UK dub. <laughs> However, the dub is clearly not the reason why Tugs fans remember it. No. Fans remember the Japanese dub for the merchandise. The merchandise for Tugs in Japan was incredible. There's definitely too much to cover here, and I really want to move on to the very interesting tale behind Tugs in Finland, but to keep it brief, Tugs merch in Japan is very cool and has some incredible merch of the characters, such as the Big Scale series, to the bath toys, to the incredibly fun sized port set, which I actually happen to own. It's quite a shame that most, if not all, of the Japanese merchandise is extremely expensive now, but do consider yourself lucky if you do own one. While Tugs in Japan is very well known in the fandom, the same cannot be said for the Finnish dub. The Finnish dub came out in 1995 and only three VHSs are known to exist. For some reason, High Tide, Ghosts, High Winds and Big Freeze were never dubbed in Finnish. What makes this dub quite interesting is that it was, well, wasn't exactly a dub. In fact, it was more of a voiceover, which meant this was dubbed over the original English version. But this only had two voice actors, sorry if I butcher this, Polly Verita and Elise Lenginoja. Yeah, think about it. Two actors having to voice a lot of characters and needing to think of every different voice for each character. Also, one thing I should mention is that, well, almost all the characters' names and dialogue in this dub are direct translations from the original, which might explain why in some scenes, some characters talk a bit too fast. 
Moottorivene muutti äkkiä suuntansa heitä kohti ojiin, sai aluksensa käännetyksen nipin napin ja vältti yhteen törmäyksen. Senkin hölmö ylitit nopeusrajoituksen! However, interestingly, Captain Zero in the Finnish dub is called Captain Flash. The dubbing studio who made the dub was Ui PVP Voice AB. They have made a lot of other dubs over the years from 1980 to 2011. They are mostly known today as the previous dubbing studio for the first seven seasons and first three movies of Pokemon. They also dubbed other British shows at the same time they were making tugs. Them being Ivor the Engine, Bertha, and the first season of Postman Pat. Postman Pat was the only one of them to be given a second finish dub of the first season, which was dubbed by the TV channel YLE TV. But now back to talking about this dub. What do I think of it? Well, I think it's a masterpiece. Truly one of the best dubs of all time. Absolutely no sarcasm whatsoever. No, just kidding. I wasn't already that huge on the Japanese dub for Tugs, but the finished dub for the series was a uh, ooh, not very good. You can tell it was voiced by only two people, and on top of the fact they only voiced over the dialogue, it really shows of how low budget this dub really was. No wonder that Tugs failed in Finland, given that the dub was very botched indeed. However, there was something good that came out with Tugs in Finland. And no, I'm not talking about the fact it was using Pirates 15 cut, which is pretty rare and hard to find now. This is where Leon Engine and Studio Phonetis comes in, with their excellent Tugs Finnish fan dub, Hinayat. When Leon was younger, he discovered the Finnish version of Quarantine, and legit thought it was an actual joke that the fandom came up with. However, once discovering that the Finnish dub was indeed legit, he then wanted to create a Finnish fan dub for Tugs that would be a lot better. This wouldn't happen until 9 years later, when by this point, Studio Finitas would be founded, and Leon would then begin translating Sunshine into Finnish, by using the official release as an example. He would then ask his co-worker friends and others he knew if they would be interested to help out, which led into the creation of Hinayat. I strongly recommend watching Hinayat, as it's such a fantastic dub of Tugs, especially since there aren't too many fan dubs of Tugs that are out there, let alone fan content to this quality. Even if you only speak English, I strongly recommend all of you to give Leon and Studio Finitas all the support. Currently, only three episodes are available to watch, with more in the works, but I still encourage you all to check them out and subscribe to the Studio Finitas YouTube channel. So yeah, so far so good. There are two international Tugs dubs we have looked at. However, there is one left I'm yet to talk about. And remember the very historically significant dub I was talking about earlier? Well, we all know that Tugs was released in the UK first in the late 1980s. In fact, well duh, it was made in the UK in general. But you might notice that some of the episodes indicate Big City Port, while fictional, is set in a certain continent that isn't the UK. Tugs is set in the United States of America. The entire series is rooted from it being set in the United States, especially since the tugboats' designs are American. The only odd thing about this is that, well, the characters have British accents instead of US ones. Too late, you don't need this till morning. We might have. Dan Sands, have you seen Big Mac? And you also might remember there was no official release of Tugs in the US. Yep, none whatsoever. However, in 1989, three to four episodes were tested with a United States dub for the series, which finally gave our beloved characters American accents. Yep, you thought we were only covering officially released dubs? Nope, we're also here to talk about the unreleased American localization for Tugs. This dub was produced by Robert D. Cardona after the release of Tugs in 1989, who wanted to bring Tugs to the United States. This dub would notably feature some incredibly well-known and iconic American voice actors in it, such as Rob Paulson as Ten Cents. You got it, Captain. So, uh, what's his name? Or the late Jack Angel as Captain Star. Unfortunately, there are some incredibly odd or bad voices in this US dub when compared to the UK dub, namely Warrior, who sounds like Goofy. <laughs> Hercules just sounds plain bad. And especially Zip, who just sounds 
weird. I'll let you judge for yourselves. According to Cardona, two to three more episodes besides Sunshine were produced, but they have yet to resurface in any form and probably don't exist anymore. However, the US dub did not just pertain to Sunshine, it also pertains to a certain piece of Tug's history, but not what you expect. Well, the US dub of Tug's also go as far as... The tugboat for its size is the most powerful craft afloat. A US version slash dub of the promotional sizzle reel. Yep, we're talking about that again. Which was uploaded on Christmas Eve 2023 by the Tugs Project. This US version of the sizzler had made some changes to the audio when compared to the UK dub, such as notable additions and changes to the music and effects track, like the opening sax cue for the beginning of the opening shot being altered. This is Big City Port in the 1920s. This is Big City Port. Otherwise, it stayed mostly the same with one exception. Instead of being dubbed by presumably Lee Cornez or Chris Tullock, it was dubbed by a popular 70s and 80s actor, which was none other than Bill Mitchell. Bill Mitchell's narration here is amazing, showing a lot more energy and subtleties to the dialogue that the UK's narration never really had. It's almost difficult to describe his narration without listening it to yourself, which, unlike other behind the scene Tugs videos, you can actually check out for yourself by going to the Tugs Project's YouTube channel. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. However, Bill Mitchell's narration, the star power of the voice actors in the test dubs, and Tugs' American charm were not enough to get the show greenlit in the United States. As some YouTubers have pointed out, Targs has a massive problem with its target audience, or the lack thereof. Due to it being under the guise of a show being made by the producers of Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, despite the fact it was made for older kids, which led to a bunch of problems. US investors clearly saw what was wrong with the series. Thus, Targs was never released in the United States. And it remains like that today. No! You go away! You don't count! As for preservation for the US dub, it's just as grim as its outcome on Tugs history. Two copies of the US dub of Sunshine are owned by Tugs the Exhibition, who are unwilling to release it to the public. But thankfully, leaked audio for it was released online by an anonymous user, known as Captain Star, and was released in two parts. The Exhibition, for some reason, also made a review for it as well. As for the other US dubs, they're probably either gone or in possession of a crew member or collector, and it's unknown what episodes were produced for the US dub, and I'm not going to be playing the guessing game on that one. Of these, only the Sizzlers US dub has been found and properly released online, but it's unknown if it was made earlier or during the development of the test dub, so I guess we'll never know. But let's not end on a sad note. While this video was a bit negative towards all of the official dubs covered here, they are still Tug's history, and Tug's history worth remembering. They are a reminder of how desperate Robert was to make the show the success it never was. This is why I love Tug's. It's not perfect, but it is sure is interesting. Anyways, this is Sonic Wally and I'll see you all next time. And again, thank you to Leon Engine for helping me with some of the information used in this video. Links to the Studio Finitas YouTube channel are in the description. Bye bye!